Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Hi, my name is Dan and in this video we're going to look at the difference between tags and classes. Now we've looked at classes quite a bit through this um, through this class and, and we kind of saw them when we're down here. Um, we applied a class to this image here and it was a full stop at the beginning and then it said image responsive and we also did it from down here we made these centered okay and we applied something called center a full stop and then a center hyphen block so that is considered a class now a tag a tag is something that's predefined in html and that is things like the p okay you can see here this is the p tag already made now tags are pre-made in HTML, okay? P tag is a P tag. You can't have a Q tag and get it to do the same thing. P tag is a bit of paragraph text. An H1 is what's considered a heading one. Uh, an A tag is what we use for doing hyperlinks. Okay, so they're predefined by HTML. Whereas our classes, we get to name and create ourselves. We get to call them, say we did for these banding in the back here. Okay, we called it uh, band hyphen hero. And that we got to call, give it a name, and we got to decide what it looks like. So uh, P tags, quite generic, and classes, quite specific. Now the reason we need both is that, say that I've got two bits of P tags that I want them to be different. I want this text to be very different from the P tag in this one. If I style the P tag, great okay but they'd be exactly the same so what we do is we style kind of some generic styling to the p tag it might be just the font and the color and then we get to add classes to the individual pieces of text to kind of tweak it or change it a little bit so let's go through and do that let's start at the top here and let's look at this thing that says let's make things awesome and what we're going to do is change it from a p tag to a heading one okay so it's going to be the main heading on the page now you can do it a few different ways uh, down here you can see it's a paragraph tag and um, i could switch this to a heading one and you'll notice that it changes okay you might have to hit refresh i do it becomes big bold okay that's the default for h1s we can go and style that that's fine and um, or i can click it up here there's one here that says h1 or p tag it doesn't really matter which way you go about it or say you prefer to do it in code you can see down the bottom here um where we go if i click in here there's my h1 i click on it it kind of highlights it down here in code view it does normally if it stops doing that okay it's done it for me it stopped working sometimes dreamweaver needs a bit of a file save all and then a close and a reopen okay actually didn't need to reopen in this case um, so there it is there i click on my h1 and it grabs it in the code there so if you prefer to work in code view you could change it remember in these two options or you just go into the code view here and change the beginning okay so i want this to be an h2 now it's now an h2 except i need to close do the closing as well so you got to make sure you do the beginning and the end if i wanted this back to a p tag watch this delete that you are a p tag make sure you leave the forward slash there and put in a p tag and it's back to being a p tag okay so either way you want to do it i'm going to put him back to h1 this is how you change the tags okay so what i want to do now is i want to style this tag so let's go and do that i'm going to hit file save all just to make sure we're all where we are and let's go into our css designer view let's put our style in our main.css and here it says selector it might default to it it's it's defining too much by default you can delete everything here you just want the h1 or you can use your up and down arrows on your keyboard it's up a few times gets back just to style the h1 i don't want to style all the rest of the stuff just him so uh, i'm going to turn show set off and um, so it gives me all the things i want to do to it and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go through and i'm going to pick uh let's leave the go to the type okay let's pick a color Okay, and the color for this one is going to be the same as um, one of the boxes down here. Um, that guy there. And I'm going to steal it from that list of colors that we've got. There's our H1. I'm going to copy it. Make sure you get the hash as well. And let's go into Dreamweaver. H1, the color. I'm going to replace it down here. You can pick any color you like. And you can see that I've styled the H1. And that's going to style all the H1s on every page. Generally, you only need one H1 per page. Okay, and I'm going to go through and change the size. So it says font size medium. I'm going to change it to pixels. And instead of zero pixels, I'm going to make this one, let's say 20. Okay, actually, let's make it a lot bigger, 30. Great. Awesome. So that's how you go and style a tag. Now let's do the same thing for the P tag and have a look. And um, so the P tag down here, I want to style. So I've clicked inside here. Kind of sometimes clicking this kind of helps it know when we click new selector. 
kind of guesses the right one. If it doesn't, say it guesses the total wrong one, you can just type in P and click enter. It doesn't really matter what you've got selected over here, just type it in, hit enter, and I'm gonna go through to my font and I'm gonna change the color to white. Okay, so I've styled all P, it looks like I've styled just this one, but look down here, anything that is also a P tag, you see he's white now as well. All these guys down here are white. Okay, remember there was words in here, uh, print, they're white, so they're very hard to see. So by changing the tag, you change all instances of that P tag. And now you can see why classes are gonna be quite useful. Because say that I want just a little bit of this text to be a different color. So what I'm gonna do is, let's say I want this, um, so let's just say this P tag at the top here, I want all the generic P, okay, or the generic P tags to be that size, that's fine the way it is, but I want this top one to be a little bit bigger to match my uh, design in Photoshop. Okay, you can see it's actually a bigger font and even bigger down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a class, okay, because if I change the P, it's gonna change them all. So let's create a class. Let's in the main CSS, let's click on our selectors. I'm gonna make one member full stop goes in front, that makes it a class. And I'm gonna call this one uh, first paragraph, first. Actually, I like putting text at the front of it just to make it easier to find. Actually, I might yeah, call it text and call this one uh, paragraph. Now let's call this one first para. Okay, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to change the size. So let's grab the font, let's grab the font size, let's pick a pixel and let's go into 16. Now nothing changes over here, right? Even though I had it selected. What we need to do with a class is once we've created it, let's go over here, you see my P tag, you can add a class. And hopefully if you put full stop in and you start putting in text and a hyphen, and then you put in F for first and can you see? It's gonna apply this one. And all he does, that little um, class, is change the font size. But you can get it to do all sorts of things you want to do separate from the rest of the P tags. And can you see? This guy's still the original size, same with the guys down the bottom here. So you can leave the P tags alone just to do some broad kind of style changes and then real specific ones using classes. All right, and hopefully that explains a little bit about tags versus classes. Tags are predefined, already written things like the P tag or the H1, and then classes are used to modify those tags. So you do some basic adjustments to the tags and then little extra bits using the classes. Hey there. Remember, this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link down below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da, da.